All right, interviewing in place and another head coach that we're talking to. He's the men's basketball head coach at San Jose State. Jean Prelo, coach, it's great to see you, first of all. Yeah. How are you doing? Doing well, man. You know, I'm doing well. So, fun, you know, family is well, you know, my son, my wife, uh, everything's well right now. So Good, good. All right, so the idea is uh, the first few questions of this are kind of more rapid fire. Uh, yep. So what, are, what, are, what is your daily routine right now in, in shelter in place? Ooh, daily routine. Um, I'm an early riser, so I'm waking up uh, pretty early, 6, 6.30. Um, I'm actually on my phone uh, to the East Coast, probably texting, uh, you know, either coaches I know, AAU coaches. Um, there's a lot of recruiting going on that we have to do uh, based on the shelter in place. Right. Um, then after that, my son's usually waking up, and then we have breakfast together. And as we have breakfast, he's, he's watching – uh, Naturo and all of his cartoons in the morning and um, right before, right after that he's getting ready for all of the work that we have uh, prepared for him for school math uh, science uh, reading uh, you know essays book reports that he needs to do right. so he's got a pretty fun-filled day. Um, I guess that's the silver lining right is that this yeah. time of year you wouldn't be seeing your family that much so it must be right. kind of nice to, to spend so much time with them. No question this is to me, this is, um, you know, I've been doing this for 20 years and uh, I haven't had this much time around my family uh, at all. Uh, Cause as coaches, I think anyone that's in athletics, it has nothing to do with coaches. I think administrators, right, right. Uh, everyone across the board, I think is always on the go. Um, and it puts strains on a lot of people's families. Um, and I think this time is a, a perfect time for me to really be around them. Have you so, picked up any hobbies? um hobbies no not really you know i'm just get, you know my son is act my hobby right now is just really getting acquainted with all of my math um trigonometry geometry uh, my son is in this he's three years old but it's amazing like he's so far ahead than, than i was at three um so i'm acquainting myself with all of these you know mathematical equations and problems and trying to help him understand uh, certain things. So that's kind of like my hobby right now. Okay. <laughs> I mean, all, all you have to do is have him listen to one of those podcasts that you listen to on the planes about quirks or whatever hey, they are. Now, hey, now you're getting <laughs> into my, my deal now. The real <laughs> hobby, you know. My guy, my guy is Neil deGrasse Tyson. So, um, you know, he, he, he's the director of the Hayden Planetarium. So he's uh, big time for me. Uh, I watch him a lot. So, yeah, things are going well. That's kind of like my day. My day is filled with a lot of things, recruiting, phone calls with my uh, staff, Zoom meetings with my staff, Zoom meetings with my team, and then doing other things um, uh, around the house. <laughs> uh, my wife and my son play catch during lunch, had a little football segment. I think he's going to, I don't know if he's going to be a quarterback. I don't think he's going to be a receiver right now. Catching, I don't know about, but throwing, getting there. He's three, so he'll come along. All right, so you, you mentioned Zoom meetings. Do you have a favorite virtual background that you're using? Oh, virtual background. Now, you know, we're talking about mathematical equations and quarks and things like that. So, you know, my, my go-to. Oh, oh. My go, that's my go-to. Now, you know. I, got it's not so much a background. It's just a, it's a foreground, background, uh, all yeah, around. I got, a, I got a lot going on in that. You know, I don't know how to you know, get that very clear, but um, that's kind of my best. There are others, um, obviously, represent the Bay Area. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. All right. I do that. But, uh, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty low-key guy. <laughs> Science and math is my thing, so. We, we can't go without dropping in one of these. This is the official, uh, yeah. the official San Jose State one. We have to drop that in there because we're obligated to, right? Yeah, I have to get that. I have to get mine going. <laughs> I'm doing, yeah. All right, Coach. Well, let's, let's get a little more serious here. So yeah. we mentioned Zoom. How are, how are you keeping in contact with the, the current players, first and foremost? Uh, and and what, are you, what are you doing with those players right now? And then we've seen just a flurry of, of signings in terms of uh, recruits. So maybe uh, just, just a little bit of that, too. And I, and I know that's kind of two different ends of the spectrum, but, but uh, tell us how it's going. Yeah, well, um, from the Zoom standpoint, I do a Zoom every Wednesday with my players um, around 2 o'clock. And it's really enough, you know, sometimes I've thought about maybe, hey, maybe I need to do two and three times a week. But, 
you know what, a week is fine uh, for our team right now. And when we get into Zoom, we just go around the room, each guy and coach, we go around the room and talk about what happened that week, what's going on, how are you doing academically, what are you doing in terms of, you know, your workouts, if any, you know, there's not much you can do. Um, you know, a lot of guys are doing push-ups and pull-ups. Some guys are out trying to run on their own if they can. A lot of the parks uh, in the counties uh, where these where our guys are living, they've closed the parks off. You know, they've mm -hmm. obviously either taken the rims down or, right, they've roped off the court. So you really can't get on the court and do anything. Um, so we're really just laughing, joking. Um, the, the assistants are talking about what they go through on a daily basis. Uh, one of my assistants, Will Kimball's, uh, his significant other, well, his fiance now, uh, which is a great thing. He proposed, she accepted. So they're going to have a baby soon. So we talk about those things. So, yeah, we have a lot of guys. Um, we had scholarships from our seniors. Um, then we had a couple of guys decided they want to put their names in the portal. Okay, that happens. Uh, but we were really uh, quick in terms of who we were going to go after. We're always recruiting. Like, I think for basketball in this day and age, you have to keep recruiting no matter what. You yep. think you have your whole team? Well, guess what? You better keep recruiting because things can change very quickly. And off of those changes, we were able to bring in six new guys. Um, we signed Sebastian Mendoza uh, early. He's a 6'3 guard. Uh, he scored 2,000 points in high school. So I mean, he's coming through the door and can score right away. Hugo Clarkin is a seven-footer from Southern Cal. We signed him early. Um, he, he, he needs to develop his body. He knows that. Um, we signed Chase uh, Courtney out of Arizona, who's about six, nine and a half, six, ten. 6'10". Uh, good size, good body kid that can shoot threes. Um, and Hugo Clarkin can shoot threes as well. We also signed Mark, uh, Michael Ofebu. He's about 6'7". Uh, he's like a hybrid athlete, can play multiple positions, a uh, super athlete. Like, he can, he can really explode. Um, uh, so we added him. He's going to give us uh, – I think he's going to be like a highlight reel for us. Uh, I think San Jose State's fans are going to be really pleased with him. We signed a, a combo guard by the name of Jalen uh, Dalcourt, a really good player. Actually went to Tallahassee with Rich. Okay. Um, Washington. And then for his next year, he went to Iowa Western. Really good guard. Uh, can pass, dribble, shoot. Uh, can shoot it off the bounce, shoot it off the dribble with range. Uh, had good numbers from, from three. Uh, so we're really excited about him. And then the last young man, which we, which we uh, finalized today, um, just, uh, I mean, he's just a really, really very, very skilled player. His name is Nate. Lacewell from Houston, Texas. He's Love six, that name. What a name, exactly. But he, he's 6'9", and he has the skills of a guard. Um, I know we have some stuff up on our webpage uh, of him, some video, and that's like half of what he can do. Hmm. Like he, can, he can shoot the ball. He handles the ball like a guard. Like I have stuff in my phone um, that, that's like, wow, you know, like really excited about – just his his ability um so we'll you know we'll see we we like what we have and we like what what's coming back i mean we can't forget about our veteran guys right. i mean right. obviously you know our best player seneca knight uh is returning um you know i have a lot of faith in him and what he can do really excited to see what he can do for the next year and, and pushing his game to the next level coach i, I, I guess uh, moving forward I, before we let you go here what, uh, what would you say to the, the fans and donors right now um, that are sitting at home, maybe watching this interview, thinking about San Jose State Athletics? Yeah, um, well, one thing's for sure. We, we upgraded our athleticism and we upgraded our shooting for sure. Um, as a staff, we feel, you know, our staff, we, our staff has done a great job recruiting and um, we feel like we've upgraded uh, in athleticism and, and shooting. And that, that's a big plus because, you know, I've watched a lot of our games and I know it doesn't look like sometimes our defense um, has done the job or has lacked in a lot of areas. But after watching a lot of games, our defense was getting a lot of stops. We just could not capitalize on that, yeah. whether it was from the free throw line or missing a wide open three 
And I think we have answered that in recruiting. So I'm really excited about the upcoming year. And All right. It should be. Interview in place with men's basketball head coach, Jean Prelo. Coach, it's good to see you. Thanks as always. Great to see you, man. Spartan up.